Alright, hello again. Um, I recorded this video earlier, and um, I rewatched it, and I realized that my mic was going crazy. I, for some reason, um, I guess my keyboard was bouncing or whatever, and it was setting the mic off. So, um, this is a re-record of it, but I know the main process better, so it's, it'll be better. Anyways, um, I'm going to be showing you how to um, rip models from games, uh, from older games, that you probably wouldn't be able to normally. For example, one of my favorite how, um, childhood, childhood games is uh, Hot Wheels Velocity X. And um, the way that THQ manufactured it was... Um, actually, I'll show you. Uh, so you can see all the um, files here. You can uh, They're all XPC files. And so that's for the PC version. For GameCube, it's XGC. And for PlayStation, it's XPC. Now, nobody's been able to crack that software. We've been, like getting close here and there but progress is slow because it's not a big community at all so I figured out um, a few days ago uh, a really easy way around it but if it's if you're looking for like games that use characters um, this may not work well because you won't get them in the T-pos anyway um, what you're gonna need is a uh, three things so you're gonna need a legal copy of a GameCube version of the game you're trying to rip from and uh, that being said, you also need um, the Dolphin emulator. However, you'll need uh, the DX9, which is the DirectX 9 branch, and the Windows x86 version because the uh, program we're also using, this right here, 3D Ripper DX, um, that requires it to be a 32-bit program instead of 64-bit. So um, you're going to want to download this here in the download section and this here in the download section. And the last thing you'll need is a 3D software, whether it be um, like 3ds Max or Blender. I 100% per prefer Blender just because I know it in and out. So, um, also that being said, uh, we can boot up into 3D uh, Ripper DX. Um, find where you've located, well, uh, where you've set Dolphin. So, for example, this is my Dolphin folder. Make sure it's the DirectX 9 version, not the native version that you might have. Um, set your capture key to F11, this to F9 and enable captured away from OBJ. That's the model file. Now, I've told it where to put the files, but it doesn't really like to follow that. So, um, I don't know how to fix that. But launch. And then you can set the, um, the graphics and whatnot in the GameCube pad, whatever you want to do. Um, but I'm just going to go right and boot up to the game. Uh, so if you've, oops, if you've done it correctly, it should say ready to capture up here. Uh, up here, and it should be that should be good. You, you're all you did it right, and then you want to press uh, F5 if, or uh, whatever um, save state you have. Like I have a preset save state, so it's just easier to do multiple cars instead of going through the whole game a bunch. So uh, let's see. Let's do. Um, I can do uh, this one. Yeah, let's do this one. So what we want to also look for uh, in your model is something with perfect geometry and by perfect geometry I mean uh, like a wheel or a cube um, most likely you're gonna wanna use a wheel because it has a, a bunch of orientations it can be in and I'll show you why later and then this I've learned um, it has a lot of perfect geometry in the sphere but also in the polygon on the bottom there's a circle and that is that's very useful so we're just gonna go into that and so it's gonna boot into the game um, and it's gonna be in a certain camera position and then you're just gonna rip it. So I'll do that. Continue. And so wait for the camera to stop basically. And then press, press F11. And so um, it should say uh, something in red letters here. And, so, and pause for a second and then let up. And so that means it's worked. So go into wherever it's ripped the files. It's ripped mine here. So I'm going to make a new folder. Seven. Move all of the texture files over. Now this is also a really easy way to get the textures if you previously previously haven't. Uh, so now we're going to move all of this, including all these files, all these bottom files, into your folder. And then, uh, I don't know, we can use Dolphin to pause that. There we go, that's good. And go into Blender. Now press A and delete everything else. So now you just got this normal empty thing here. Import OBJ. Find where you saved it. And then import the OBJ. 
should take a little bit, and then you should be good. Now, the way, I don't know if it's how Dolphin works, or how the, the game was programmed, or how the Ripper works, but no matter what game I try, it's always skewed. And I haven't tested whether each game is consistently skewed, or if it's just the game's camera angles. Anyway, what you're going to want to do is press Z, so you can find you can see through everything. Then hold, uh, press B and select uh, what pieces you want to keep. And then control I, delete, yes. And so press Z again, and you can see you have a few faces that you can just delete, like the shadow, you don't want that. But now we're left with basically the, the correct model. Now, you can go into texture and you can say, okay, here's the, um, here's the model, it looks pretty nice. Well, it is skewed, but it looks pretty nice. Um, now, the way Hot Wheels also deals with reflections is it has two versions of the same piece, and it just kind of like puts them on top of each other, one with metal, one with not metal. So you're just going to want to, you know, get that out of there, see if there's any more pieces. All right. So, and you can also tell that some of this is backwards. It's also inverted over the uh, x-axis for some reason. I don't really know why. But, so we're going to get to work on this. Um, I'm going to delete these pieces here. And you can still see that there's this thing right here. Now, um, I select everything, press Control J. That makes everything the same model so you can work with it easier. And then you're going to want to do remove doubles, which basically says whatever polygons are overlapping, make sure that they're connected and not like singular faces. Now, going back into object mode, sh uh, control alt shift C, origin a center of mass, and then go into this tab, location, and set them all to zero. So it's just easier to work with. Scale to 0.25. Press uh, the delete, P uh, delete key on your numpad, and it should focus it here. So now we can actually get to work. Now it is 100, it is totally broken, but now what we can do is uh, say okay we have a wheel here so we have one two three or actually I'm gonna start here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty so there's twenty faces on that and I'm pretty sure there's sixteen on here let's see. I like 90% to the 16 faces on there. Anyways, so we can deal with that later. So, what we want to do is we want to scale it. Uh, actually, what we're going to do is press that, um, Shift S, cursor to selected, and then go into here, click uh, 3D cursor. So now it pivots based on that place right there. So, do um, click uh, on the numpad 3, then 5. That aligns it to the exact x-axis looking at an orthographic view. So you can see how it's all nice and pretty here. Um, but you're going to do also uh, in object mode, create cylinder. Oops. Create cylinder with 20 faces. That way you can align it with the um, uh, wheel better. So I just rotated it on the y-axis 90 degrees. So now we're going to just align this with the wheel as best we can. And then uh, we go back in here, scale Y until it kind of it fits almost perfectly. I know that 1.733 or 1.723 is the best that I'll get here. Oh, no, it's, uh, this, yes. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the number that I've found works best. So that's so it's perfect on this axis, but if you look normally, it's all stretched out here, and you can you can tell that this piece right here is not a circle. So press seven, then five. That means you're at the top, and then do the same thing for this. So press L, and so you can see that. Do the same thing. Cursor selected, and then make another um, cylinder with 16 faces. Scale it down, and so now it matches up with this piece and this piece here. So now you can just go in here, scale everything on the x-axis to about 1.327. You can see, oh well, that didn't work too well. Scale x. Oh, you know why? Huh. That's why. It's because it's rotated. So yeah, before you do any of that, um, I'm glad I caught that, you're going to want to rotate it so that the, um, the car is perfectly 
um, like, I don't know, parallel. So I know that there's um, 12.994. Whoops. R x 12.994. That's the best that I can get for here, I think. Maybe fix it up a little bit. Or actually, better yet. Also, you're also going to want to move that around. So that's all nice now. Um, and then you can align this with the um, x-axis if you want, this piece right here. Now, now what we can do is we can go back up here. Um, make this again because I think it lost. Oh, no, we didn't. We're good. Scale that up again. And so now we're going to scale that by x. And so it should be around 1.327, I think that's what I got. Yeah, 1.3 something. So that, that's what I'm that's what I'm keeping it at right now. And so you can delete this. And you can also delete this geometry by pressing L. And that selects the separate piece. So now, after all that work, you have your final model all nice and ready for um, whatever you want to use it for. Oh, actually, no, sorry. One more step, see how it's backwards, press A to select everything, uh, then S, X, negative 1, and then sh uh, Control N. So what that just did is it uh, reversed or mirrored the, the faces, but when you mirror faces, it basically turns it inside out, and um, the normals are all facing inside instead of outside, so it won't render properly. So I just got to, I did Control N to um, revert that and make it better. But... That should be basically it for this this little tutorial here. Um, I'm glad uh, that was a terrible voice crack. I'm glad that um, you know this is this is a possible thing because I know um, uh, what was it? Starting way back in like 2013, even and even previously, um, the Hot Wheels Velocity X community has wanted the um, textures and files for this, and no one's been able, been able to get it. At least I, not that I can tell. At least I've looked looked a lot of places. But then you can just select all this, export to whatever one you want. If you want to go into a different thing of Blender, it'll be a little bit weird because of the object or the materials. So you're gonna to want to fix that up before you um, before you do anything. But that concludes the uh, recording of my tutorial on this uh, subject. Uh, I hope you found it useful, and um, yeah, thanks for watching.